to figure out if there's a better place to be standing to play this video game. I'm going to try to move behind my desk. Let's see what happens All if I do that. Ladies and gents, we are live. Well, good. Now everyone can see me move around in a virtual space as my... All right. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> Dwayne, you sound like a robot. I'm going to play here so I don't punch the cat or my computer. <laughs> All right. Hello, Patrick everyone. In the voice chat. Patrick's in the voice chat. Voice chat. Okay. Well, anyway, let's do some preamble. Hi, I'm Dave. I am the project director of this video game, Until You Fall. Uh, those of you that are watching may know about the Monk of Rokar challenge that we had just finished wrapping up. Uh, but, uh, in honor of all of those that attempted this ridiculous challenge, I am now going to do the same, uh, fair warning. I am very out of shape. So let's, we'll see how far I actually get with this. Uh, I am joined, I believe by Justin, our art director and Patrick, our design director. Silence. But <laughs> I'm here. I'm Hi. Here. <laughs> But let's just get into this. So the way the Monk of Rokar challenge works is uh, we have these two offhand items in this game. Uh, the Nightblood Crust and I think the Spell Swords Charm? Yes. Um, and these two weapons are not actually weapons. They're considered armaments or kind of offhand items uh, because they cannot block attacks. And so because they can't block attacks and I have no weapon that can block attacks, uh, all attacks in the game are converted from blocks to dodges, which means I will have to do a lot of this, this, and this. So it's going to be something. And I'm going to get very tired very quickly because I'm going to be doing a bunch of squats on the internet in front of a bunch of people. So that's great. But clearly nothing will go wrong. Uh, definitely let me know if you have questions. Uh, well, I mean, let someone know. If you have chat, hopefully someone's watching and can let someone know that can then talk into my ear. Uh, but yeah, and also just let me know if the video quality or audio quality is just garbage and we can try to look into that because, uh, it's weird doing this from VR when I'm all Dave, alone. Dave, we need to add Patrick to the private voice channel. Oh my God. All right. Hold on. Here we go. Oh. Watch this stuff. He should have permissions. I don't know why he doesn't. Yeah, that is weird. Let's see. Well, I'm just I'm just blanket giving devs. Um, That's fine. All the things. Save change. Oh, you know what? He probably couldn't. Okay, yeah, because he probably didn't even see the channel. Yeah. Yeah. So that works. All right. Ah, uh, there we go. Now there Patrick's actually go. here. Now it's a party. All right, let's get back in the headset hello i'm here we're virtual let's party i'm gonna do some oh man it is not running great good thing i'm gonna close some stuff in a second to make sure it runs better because it is super jittery probably <laughs> that's i can't see what i'm doing whoa eh 
Ugh. Eh. Oh, come on, man. You're a jerk. Lamo. So how are y'all doing? You know, just fine. You're going to get to the end of this thing, right? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, that's why I'm doing this is because I'm so good <laughs> at this very physical activity. <laughs> A little late to the party. Which difficulty are you? Uh, oh, I'm doing normal challenge? because I'm not a sadist. Uh, but also, I know that I should at least try something harder than easy. Not What's easy. Exactly relax. Normal, uh, Dave. Challenging. <laughs> Challenging. <laughs> oh, come on. This is absolutely one of those things that we expected would happen in the other second arc. Yeah. And we predicted how fast it would happen. Correct. Okay. Well, room one, and I'm already tired, but that's fine. Let's see. But obviously, the thing I need to do is enhance my concussive blast. Yeah, all right. We're getting there. We're getting to it. Getting, that getting... Well, seeing the uh, stream. What's that? Uh, Justin, are you able to see the stream on the... Uh... We should be streaming live on YouTube and the Steam page. The stream is fine on YouTube, but the stream seems to be down on Steam. We'll try to figure out what's going on there. All right. Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties too. Well, let me take a look once I finish punching this man out. Ugh. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excuse me while I pause and take a look. All right, I'm rebooting the Steam stream. Let me know if that looks like it's working now. I'm sure this is all made better by doing this from our own houses. Of course. Okay, uh, so I just restarted this uh, Steam stream on Restreamy, though, and it looks like it's back up again. Let me know if it's not. See black so far. Don't want to ban the run. I'm doing so good. All right. Uh, I should take health, but what if what if my super got better? Okay, let's see how I fare against the knight. Meh. Whoop. Oh my god. His two-hit combos are so much harder when they're dodges. That's right. Now, a stasis trap. Haha! -ha. Oop! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. How's it looking? Is it up on Steam again? Loading. Uh, yeah, oh. it's still down. You two were, were following along. Uh, I'm getting a preview a little bit back in time of what just happened. Okay. Well, you know, three rooms in. That's fine. Not to... No yeah, spoiler you, warning. Yeah, YouTube is about probably a 10 to 15 second delay. Okay. But, uh, Steam should only be about a six second delay. I don't know why it ain't going. Let me try yeah, this. Still, 
not working. I have to mute the audio on the video feed so I don't go crazy hearing myself say things like 10 seconds after I said it. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that too. It's the mouth of madness. All right, let's see. I, I am enjoying the, uh, the uh, live closed captioning. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what uh, level are your weapons? Oh, they're 10. Up on Steam now. Oh, it's up okay, on Steam so now? You're, yep. you're really going for the uh, the express version of the channel. Oh, yes, I know. I mean, obviously, I just wanted to save everyone the uh, trouble of having to watch me grind out my levels for these things, because clearly I can do that. So let's yeah, see. Yeah, it's out of respect for their time. Right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you understand. All right, so if Steam's looking like it's up then, then I'm just going to try again uh so i beefed it on room three i believe but this time will be different eh. whoop ah. this is something I, I definitely hope we can play with more in the future uh something that we later in development really started to get the hang of was switching up the patterns of enemies that already exist yeah in some of our early tests we found that against the night if we just change one of their uh, block attacks to a dodge and throws off your rhythm way more than we thought it would which is super exciting because it, it gives us uh, a lot of options for mixing up play styles in the future oh he didn't care about that one he was recovering We gave a, a preface of what, what this run is actually about? Yes, uh, I did it at the beginning, but because uh, it seemed like Steam was down, okay. I'll do it again. So, why don't, um, why don't you focus on fighting and we'll handle Yeah, that'd be great, actually. <laughs> you don't trust right. him, do you, Patrick? <laughs> oh, I trust him, I just... We've got to get through 21 rooms. <laughs> uh, so, All for right. anybody that's just tuning in... Uh, thank you for joining us. We're uh, some of the developers of the game. Justin is our art director. I'm the Patrick, the design director, and the handsome athlete behind the controls today is Dave, our project director. And we've also got Dwayne, uh, our marketing lead. <laughs> marketing friend. Marketing friend. Spot on. Excellent. And uh, we are trying a, a challenge that was actually originally invented by the community called the Monk of Rokar. Uh, shout out to Croesus, who I believe coined it, uh, which involves using our two offhand weapons as main hand weapon. Uh, they were intended early on to kind of be to support one-handed playstyles in our game. Typically, this is a game about using a weapon in one hand uh, and a weapon in the other hand, or an offhand item as a, either uh, a physical based power up or a magically based power up. But uh, because this is VR and mostly we let you do whatever you want, you can totally go into a run with both of the offhand power ups uh, and no weapons. Yep, and it turns Which all means... blocks into dodges. <laughs> Which means that you cannot block attacks, and you've got some interesting bonuses to work with, but very, very little damage. So when Dave is playing, and I say this in a way that is not trying to give him any advice or hints at all, uh, he'll be looking for ways that he can abuse the game's stats and power-up systems to give his offhand uh, fist weapons, essentially, enough damage so that he can survive the later tiers and the later bosses. That is correct. Uh, and for those paying attention, I was trying to make a choice between uh, dealing more super, uh, bigger, big, more damage with bigger swings or getting more supercharge with each uh, health damage. So I, went, I actually opted for the supercharge because later versions of the Concussive Blast does health damage. So if I can just keep charging this thing and bl uh, blasting it, it should hopefully let me get further along than it would have otherwise. Um, we'll, see if, we'll see if that pans out because this guy will probably just wreck me. Yeah, now keep in mind, since the last patch, we actually put a, a stun interrupt on the amulet as well. 
so you've got uh, both Sucker Punch on your gauntlet and Abyssal Pulse on your amulet. You oh, I'm aware! Those as a way to not have to. All right, you just hang out and get in that trap, and then I'm gonna punch you. Eh, get away from me! No. Whoop. Dear God! <laughs> Oh, okay. Didn't take any damage. So that's great. Yeah, I do. I really do need to look for that health damage, but in lieu of that, why not more concussive blast? Okay. What if there were just more knights? And I have to adjust in real space because I was drifting dangerously close to a wall. Ugh. Okay. The fact that folks are doing this on Nightmare, or even harder than uh, challenging, is <laughs> oh, a little ridiculous. Oh, now we're doing it. Look at this. Concussive Blast, my best friend. Once you get tier 3, at least you're going to deal flat health damage up front. Oh, I like this, but it doesn't really help. Uh, because I don't have soul burn. Uh, so I'll get more combo, because if I can keep punching, uh, that probably will help. ABP, always be punching. That is that is the motto of the Monster Rokar. Oh, this game, you're going to teach me about how to dodge? I'm already a master. Maybe you forgot. It's true. Oh! Alright. So has the game offered you any uh, health damage trade-off crystals yet? Oh no, my friend, I would have taken that if I had the opportunity. Yeah, early on I think you're... You're at the mercy of RNG a little bit more than usual. Yep. But you know what? I'm feeling pretty powerful. I'm feeling strong. My wife is laughing at me. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, I'm a, I'm a mess. It's a good thing no one can see what I actually look like. Except for Daisy. <laughs> it's alright. We'll just imagine you. The, uh, the Rune Knight renders that just Yes, happen. right. Heroic. Completely in shape. Oh yeah, shoulders back. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, back removed like our knight is. Right. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get more health so I can... I'm not damaged, but I kinda wanna use it assuming I'm gonna get more trade-off crystals. Coming up. We'll see how it goes. Eh. Ooh. Blah. Whoop. 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 I'm also kind of following along with this as a radio drama. Sure. Uh, <laughs> it's the delay on the video is so far behind that it's not at all relevant to what we're actually discussing at the <laughs> But it's kind of fun that way. Yeah, you get to imagine it in your mind's eye. Boy, that I just launched that little guy into orbit, huh? Oop. Oh, that was a little baby husk. 
gone into space. The thing about this build that I'm trying to get used to is like, basically I should be using Concussive Blast whenever it's up. Oh. It sounds like uh, Impatient has realized that you're doing tutorials while having max level uh, offhand weapon. Oh yes. As a developer, I have many powers. Oh, we've also got some some good tip here from uh, Sohail, who's recommending that you use your dash pack instead of... Yeah, pro I, probably. I'm just so... I just gotta keep punching. <laughs> I'm just gonna go all in on this backseat driving. Yeah. Oh, you dink. Oh. That's looking like you're getting tiny bit better. I am. I think my body... <laughs> we'll see if my body is up to the task. Come on. Come here. Please. Thank you. Okay. Yes, impatient. Uh, I am playing with developer commands, so... <gasps> Cheats. But I'm not cheating right now. I'm trying to play this legitimately. <laughs> okay. Well, I could heal, but that's the coward's way out. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about this, but we are getting some... Uh, some comments that it's a bit blurry. It's a bit hard to see. And, like, the, the quality of the stream? Yeah. Is this on Steam or is this on YouTube? Uh, I would say both. It's a, it's a little... Oh, it definitely worse on YouTube, I think. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to pause then before we get to this fight with the boss. Thank you for calling that out, Katie. Let's see. Oh. Let's take a look at my, set, at my streaming settings to see if I'm not. Uh, doing that, we have someone in the chat asking, what is this game? What's it about? Yeah, uh, while I attempt to fix the settings on the stream, why don't you uh, take it away, Patrick? Sure. So, uh, this game is Until You Fall. It is an action rogue light game for VR uh, on Steam and the Oculus Store. Uh, we are nearing the end of our early access, I'd say. Uh, and the game is really... Huh, how, how best to encapsulate what the game normally is versus... So normally we're a game that's much more about sword fighting. It's very much about two-handed sword combat, where we put uh, prompts on screen for the defensive actions that you have to take. So if this were a normal playthrough, you would see Dave doing a lot of blocking and some dodging while trying to get in damage to whittle down the big gray bar that you see on enemies. It's kind of their defensive guard. And when he whittles that down completely, then he exposes them for critical attacks, which is the main way to actually deal health damage and kill enemies. But while he's doing that, he's got to juggle uh, all combatants coming at him at the same time. And if he can survive each room, he gets one chance at a permanent upgrade for that run for one of his weapons. And that's how you sort of build your, uh, like, what your play style or what your build is within the game. But if at any point he dies during this run, he's going to get kicked back to the armory, which is like our home base. And he'll get uh, some ether as a currency, which he can use to upgrade one of the uh, 13 weapons in the game right now. What is it doing? Uh, is it permanently forever. But he'll have to start over from the beginning of the run. That's a good summary. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, I have upped the bitrate fairly significantly, so let's see if that either kills my internet or fixes the stream oh, or both. Looks, that looks way clearer. That's crystal clear. Okay, cool. 
Sorry, folks. Yeah, try, we're trying to simultaneously stream this for both Steam and YouTube, so there's some kind of fun hiccups in trying to set that up because this is kind of my first time doing it. So uh, please keep letting us know if it looks like crap or sounds like crap, and I'm going to die to this boss. No, you're not. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you're going to do so just this fine. Is the, uh, this is the Ether Horror, which is the game's uh, central antagonist right now. And again, this is a this is kind of an unconventional playthrough for this game. Because Dave has no actual weapons that he can block attacks with, he is being forced to dodge everything and really manipulate the other systems of the game to keep himself alive. So he's going to have to use a mixture of dodging, dashing, forward and backwards inside and out of melee combat and using some of the special abilities on his weapons to push the boss away or to interrupt the boss's attacks. And the deeper he gets into the game, the faster everything gets, so the more he'll have to rely on those tricks. Ah! Okay. You know, I feel like this is how Little Mac felt in Punch Out. A little bit. This guy's huge. Except I have magical armor and, I guess, magic spells. <laughs> just like Punch Out. Yeah, just like that. Oh, you dink. Game Genie on. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to the next phase, so that's good. Oh, damn. <laughs> this isn't good. He's doing a thing, I'm doing a thing. Oh hey. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now you know if you get through this on uh, on challenging, you're gonna have to try it again on the Oh, I know, obviously. Whew. Come here. Hello, friend. Oh, God. Let's, let's take advantage of some of these supers. Please come here. Stop, stop prowling like a cat. There uh, we go. Asking, uh, saying it's really cool. Thank you. Uh, and that you'd definitely get it if you had a PCVR headset. Are there any plans for it to come to Quest? Uh, we have not announced anything right now, but we uh, will be making statements about, uh, I guess, other platforms relatively soon. I think. Yeah, we'll be, we're look, we've been looking into it. We're definitely um, seeing how feasible it's like. Def it's of all the early access requests, that's definitely been like both. Um, just other headsets have been kind of the number one request. So, it's definitely on our radar. We're hoping to, um, hopefully, oh my god, hopefully make an announcement soon. Um, but right now there's nothing official just yet. Yeah, if you are, if you are interested though, I would definitely stay tuned. Oh. Yeah, and I mean, just keep letting us know. Oop. Boy, Abyssal Pulse is pretty great. Yeah, having that second knockback is super useful. I actually really love, I still really love using the uh, amulet with Vestal's Wrath, which is our, our big heavy mace, because it, it lets you get away with fighting fast opponents without having a weapon with super good. Or in this case, it lets you get away with fighting opponents without weapons. <laughs> yeah, or that. <laughs> Yeah, actually, something that is uh, not super obvious from watching Dave play right now is that different weapons in uh -oh. the game have uh, different handling characteristics. Uh -oh. So we've got heavier weapons that are that are slower, probably not by uh, like uh, blade and sorcery standards, but definitely so that you can feel them. Versus weapons like daggers that are almost one to one with your hand. And of course, since uh, Dave is using essentially fist weapons at this point, those are those are tracking pretty much exactly to his hands as well. 
That felt pretty cool. Oh. Spoiler warning. I did it. It seems you've wounded more than just pride. Pursue it deeper into the forest before it can recover. I will. One of my cats is by my legs, which is a very dangerous place to be. Oh, so Hill saying uh, that they got the Oculus Rift just for this. Thank you so. That, thank you so much. That's awesome to hear. All right, I uh, council of developers. I I need your assistance, and people watching at home too. I need to. I need to. I have a tough decision to make. Do I go with Sparklight, which is just the best trait? Because come on, Soulburn. Or yeah, do I take the Shard of Foresight, which gives me an extra trait on my uh, gauntlet? So that I could potentially just keep continue tricking this thing out and, you know, become one punch man. Yeah, I, I'd probably get the extra trait socket just so you can get the upgrade to level four. That's what I'm thinking. Level. Just because, like, I'm, like in no, addition to the super, know. I don't know. I'm, so, so no all delaying so the chat can weigh in. Yeah. The benefit of Sparklight is that that's going to add your to your health DP. It's true. Like, right, get, getting more guaranteed health damage more often feels like it'd be worthwhile. But, I'm a gambler at heart, and just more sockets feels like I could get more Sparklight later, maybe. In, impatience weighing in with a strong all-caps vote. vote. <laughs> and and Sohail, actually, for Spark. Alright. Oh, wait, double you... down on those rapid punches. You were saying, you were saying, Justin? Plus, bless, Ford gives you... Uh, soul burn. It's that true. Like the level, the, the level four version of uh, concussive blast will give me soul burn. But you do already have an empty socket for uh, your soul burn level four on your right hand. If you go in on your amulet and put spark light on your amulet left hand, then you can do some rapid jabs. Okay. To, uh, get cheeky soul burn procs. Okay, then, that's probably the way to go. Then that way I can keep this open for AOE soul burn, yeah. and then I have this guy right here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Boop, boop. Pull up another hand with anyway. So. Boop boop. Yeah. Okay. Tier two. Think about my life decisions. Look at my armor. Looking good. I got a cape. Let's do this. Spell weavers were masters of manipulating aether. Even they couldn't protect themselves from All right, so I'm... I need to get ready to block projectiles with this thing. Oh, God. All right. Is this going to work? Eh, eh, no. All right. Aligning my weapon with the... Eh. Your, your fourth room. This is room one. On room four, you're going to have to face an empowered knight. Oh, I know. I'm aware. Oh. Boy. I need to deal with these things quickly, because I'm going to get rocked. Eh. Okay. Well, that was just all my health, uh, but that's fine. The important thing is I learned. No. Yeah, health is the health is the uh, choice here. <laughs> all right. Hello, my friend. You are a knight, and we will fight. I need to remember to keep jabbing with my left hand so I can get, proc that soul burn. Cheers and supporting advice from the chat. I uh, am just calling it out whenever it's timely. I know we've got uh, a couple delays going. Yeah, on. yeah. Any hot tips? 
Even if they're, uh, I guess with the delay, more lukewarm tips. Happen. Well, hear him. Well, with the offhand weapons, and you can't. Make sure uh, you punch in the direction. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't block the projectiles. You've got to swing through them. Oh. All right. There it is. I should heal, but level four concussive blast. Come on. Yeah. How, how could I lose? You're, you're getting awfully close to that empowered man. Oh, I'm aware. If I see a health, oh my god, there's so many spell swords. Um, spell weavers. Sorry. Uh, if I see a health crystal next time, I'm gonna take it for certain. Rude. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you should die. Oh, this is great. Oh! No! <laughs> oh man, that soul brain doesn't work. Yeah, I, I always run to try to get that as soon as possible, whether I'm doing this challenge or not, and if I've got the... Uh my blood pressed, I will always try to get that thing up to level 4 as fast as I can. And why wouldn't you? Like, it's so good. Why not soul burn? Ugh. Okay. Now this is going to be the time where the game does not give me a healing crystal because I desperately need one. Oh, just kidding. It loves me. Well, at full health. No, thank you. Okay, Elite Knight. Oh, no, not yet. We're almost there. Okay. Jim points out that we are suffering from the name change of the uh, oh. spell weaver from spell sword. Oh, if only. It's quite right. We could go into detail. We oh, I got it. A lot of files. Of I got you. <laughs> Rude. Are you gonna die? Of course not. <laughs> hey, Mr. Captain. That's funny. It's, I, I hit him before he was aggroed, so I guess he's just kind of looking like pissed off. So grumpy. Oh, this is great. Get in there, do some soul burn. Yeah, By the time I'm... Spark light paint off. Oh, I think it's the uh, level 4 super. Good night, sweet friends. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this would be... Mm. You might want to call it out to us. I think we're waiting for the uh, visuals to catch up. So I'm, I'm yeah. taking. I can, I can heal, which is probably the right choice. There's also fleet, which I feel like would be cool, but I'd have to kill them with the amulet, which feels like in the heat of the moment is going to be too hard. So I think I should just go for the health. Yeah, I think so. You're, you've got to really prepare yourself to fight uh, elite enemies. It looks like the Calabria yeah. has had more time to strengthen these ones. Now, there's always a, a trick. Uh, I know a lot of our uh, more experienced will try to avoid dropping the knight to his second health bar to, to keep him from being able to get off a super. Hit. Yeah, no, that's, I'm going to try to do that with Soul Burn. It's going to make it a little tricky because I can't, I don't have perfect control over it. But what if I put you in stasis? And you think about what you've done. Oh boy, here we go. I'm pretty sure that stasis will work to interrupt the super, but uh, I don't think that this will help. He's just so angry. So 
fucking coward. <laughs> I'm saying angry knight. Eh. Yes. Good work. Spoilers. Sorry. Sorry to those that are just listening to the audio and catching up now. All right. It's just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Now, again, I really want to keep leveling up uh, my weapons because uh, getting more traits to like make my supers better feels like it's going to be better in the long term. But I'm perilously low in health. You are probably going to fight another empowered knight in the next room. Yes. I'm gonna take Void Trap. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. <laughs> okay, of course. Spell sword, spell weavers and elite knight. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of you. I am uh, so hail uh, once the Power Knight does his combo power up, um, how do you stasis or dash back twice? Okay, that's so that's a solid tip. Okay, hello, Elite Knight. I have one health, but that's fine. Float like oh my god. <laughs> Everything's fine. There is nothing wrong happening. In oh god. <laughs> Let's see if I can knock this guy into the other stasis trap. Oh, that was awesome. I am excited for you to all see what happened there. <laughs> <sighs> so, for those catching up, what just happened there was I was able to place down Stasis Trap, uh, and because I leveled it up, it does health damage when they step in it. So, with a combination of knocking back with, um, was it, uh, Abyssal Pulse and the... Uh, sucker punch traits i was able to just perpetually knock him back into the traps dealing health damage and eventually breaking his guard before he could use a super attack oh nice. <laughs> yeah, okay and i believe oh god i'm at the tier two boss just give me a second oh how's everyone doing today it's friday it's been a week uh you remember to bring water this time? No. They did, it wasn't in the reward crystal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have anybody there that could help you, or are they still laughing? Uh, I mean, they're still laughing, but could you give me a glass of water? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to get a drink of water, or wait for the drink of water to appear. And uh, why don't we just uh, shoot the shit for a second? <sighs> Thanks again to anyone's watching. I really appreciate it. This is a fun game to stream, even when I'm not doing this kind of stupid challenge. Uh, so all of your feedback and uh, basically any just the fact that you're watching it all is really just awesome. Yeah, thanks to anybody that is uh, that is tuning in right now, and anybody that would like to. We're we're trying to keep all the chats monitored. You can talk to us in uh, the Until You Fall Discord or through the Steam community chat or through the YouTube uh, live stream chat. Yeah, all are valid. We're all, we're, I think people are watching there. I can't read it because I am Rokar currently, so uh, it makes it kind of hard to read chat, but uh, we got plenty of people kind of in the wings. Oh, God, I don't want to fight these captains. Um, look at the swirlies. It's nice. 
I suppose not all of the watch captains. Yeah, this is this is really the boss fight that uh, is testing the player on how well they can manage multiple opponents at the same time. Yeah, because they also the they. Oh, go ahead. It's the, the benefit you've got here is that while these guys are faster than the regular captains, all the captains' attacks in terms of like the number of dodges you have to do are not going to be as much as the. Uh, Empowered Knight was. That's fair, yeah. Alright, friends. Wake up. Oh, I love I love this moment walking up on Cut these things down. We didn't get a lot of opportunities to do the storytelling in the game, but I, I like that we were able to build these kinds of little set pieces that suggest what had happened. Yeah. We, we keep alluding to this calamity, and so while we're not, like, having a big lore dump necessarily, it's nice that we're able to kind of hint at, you know, what the world was like or what happened in the before time. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. You no, know, definitely the idea here is that since these were the honor guard, they were locked in combat with something when they got uh, stabbed. By <laughs> they got spikes. got. They got got. All right, I'm applying soul burn liberally. It seems to be working. Oh, they keep trying to do their little empowered attack. It's really uh, forcing me to keep switching attention. Yeah, you got to keep a, a dash at the ready at all times. In case uh, especially fires off. doing the monk. You'll want to try and keep their health bars uh, synchronized. Because if you kill one, the other <laughs> one will Oh, he's getting all he's getting all ready and angry to like show off his cool moves, but uh Solburn had a, a different plan. It fled before the battle ended. Keep following. It won't be able to run forever. I just wanna say that yeah, it's nice getting synchronization. Yeah, that was good. That worked out. Um I wanna say that it's getting very foggy in this headset, because I'm very warm. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, what is, what's nice and what's kind of a more recent change that we did is that boss rooms will heal you to full. Uh, so it gives you an opportunity to kind of either catch up or just give you a chance to like pick some cool crystals. Like this guy that does more health damage. Hello. There you go. That puts you at the perfect amount of health too to get a, uh, a full heal crystal. Uh, still bring you back to full health. Yeah. Alright. God, there are so many of you. We're, we are seeing this... Uh... We're still seeing everything delayed, so that was a good boss kill. There is a, a whole third phase to that fight that Dave was able to bypass because he killed them simultaneously. Let's see. I mean, I mean, even though we'd like made this game, I keep forget. I, I need to keep reminding myself to not be stingy with the supers, especially with this build. Yeah, this build is all about getting to the point that you can fire them off constantly. Yeah. Upgrade uh, the traps even more than it, you know, it's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, no, I like I really want to get more super upgrades for the uh, amulet because being able to kind of trick out my traps more uh, seems ideal. Just because like it does more guard damage, more health damage, which is always appreciated, especially when you need every little bit. Ugh. God, I need more dashes, though. That's the other thing. Perhaps to give yourself time, maybe. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Is that... Oh, God. The uh, dash traits don't get a lot of love, generally, but they are they're super useful, especially in situations like Well, this build's like all about mobility physically, and so anything that can help you kind of move around the space to kind of keep dodging things either by physically leaning or using the dash mechanic feels worthwhile. So I'm going to uh, abuse the traps here a little bit and see if I can't continue knocking them around. There we go. Oh, that's great. Cool. Cool. 
Of all the um, post-combat tracks, I think this is probably my favorite. The tier three tracks, because you get that you get that soulful piano. Yeah, it's it's real nice. Uh, I'm obviously going to take more health damage. I think my favorite's still the the uh, third phase boss fight music. Oh, you get the bell, the, all the like the chimey bells and stuff. Oh yeah, the uh, the evil harpsichord. <laughs> Special dark, place in my heart. Dark accord. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's the that instrument's called. Yes. Oh, jeez. No. I've come too far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. There are so many of you. There's a there's a real risk in these final rooms of aggroing everybody all at once. Oh no! Oh, I'm backed against the wall. Oh, damn it! I mean, everything's fine. I'm totally doing great, and I just won. Look, there's the dead boss. Oh, man. I was doing this for 40 minutes? Takes a little bit to right. get that damage turned off. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you fought until you fell. I did. I to see how far you got here. It's pretty good for a second attempt of the of the day. Although I feel like I'm going to hit that critical mass where um, clearly I'm going to reach a physical fatigue where I'm just going to get worse. Damn! Yeah, but uh, you loop back around and get your third and fourth win. Right, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, can I get a time check? What time is it? it Thank is, you. Uh, okay, so... Thank you, Agatha. Uh, it feels good to be smithing once again. Uh, continue the hunt when you are ready. Zara Fuzzle, excellent, excellent voice actress. She is perfect as our Runesmith. All right, so here's the dilemma. I do not believe I can finish the Monk of Rokar run in the ten-ish minutes that I before I have to leave. Uh, do I do I attempt it again, see how far I can get? Or do I instead go for the this month's challenge, which is the unwieldy challenge, which I believe is the mace and mist cutter? Let's switch over to that. Yeah, let's try. So that. I, I don't think you're going to get far enough to get powered up. It's just going to be kind of a slog in the <laughs> ten minutes anyway. That is probably smart. Uh, all right, I'm going to use the mace in the right hand because I feel that my left hand I generally use for blocking. I mean, they're not, neither are great <laughs> for blocking, to be frank, but... Yeah, neither are great, but you actually get more of a reward for blocking with the mace. Oh, that's a good call. The, uh, but look how big the sword is. Yeah, no, you're right. I should use the... the uh... Yeah, the built-in trait on the mace actually gives you bonus supercharge uh, for the mace whenever you block an attack with it. And it's a, it's a pretty big amount, so we've got you two... Steam seems to be pretty. Uh, yeah, but Steam is not okay. here right now. Yeah, YouTube's reloading as well. Okay. Let's give me a second, and then let's see if we can close the stream out uh, strong rather than with a, a whimper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, YouTube looks good. Uh, Steam is still getting there. Yeah, Steam's coming back up, but it's chugging a little bit. Yeah, it looks like I'm... So, looking at the dashboard, it looks like they should both start coming back online soon. I may have lost internet. Who knows? I don't I don't stream often from... Alright. I mean, I can hear people talking, so I assume that I can... Oh, we have internet. Dust. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for sticking with us. Whole second line dedicated purely to your dial-up, Dave. 
I know. <laughs> Alright, so steam does look like it's chugging. At least it's like... We're just hanging out. We're hanging out in the forge. Taking it, just hanging out with some friends. Alright, I'm gonna disable steam. Turn it back on and see if that helps. How are we looking on YouTube? I am getting the loading bar on YouTube as well. Uh, it, it's saying it's not getting enough uh, data, so I'm not sure exactly what you did. <laughs> it might be a question of uh, lowering the bitrate just a little bit. Yeah, I'll give that Somewhere a try. Between where it was before and, and where it was after. So let's go, let's lower that to like 45. Right, maybe that'll do it. All right, how's that looking? I'm assuming the same. Still? Yep, now, yeah. just, now it's just straight, straight up saying it's offline. So let's take a look at OBS and see if... <laughs> it's telling me to stop. <laughs> yeah. I, believe, I believe in you, Dave. Okay, the encoding, it looks like the encoding was overloaded. So let's try lowering these settings a little bit. How about that? Okay, it's looking a little. It's, I'm, st I'm starting to see some movement on the the uh, output, but I think maybe this is just a sign that we uh, call it for now. Hmm. Uh, 